Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Tacticus video. This is going to start becoming Tacticus Thursday over here on the channel. So if you enjoy Tacticus, make sure to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Now, as you can see, we have a Forge Fiend. They finally introduced War Machines to the Tacticus game. And we're on day one of the campaign. And I did unlock my Forge Fiend. I went for the Forge Fiend over the Biovore and the Imperial Guard artillery for the simple fact that I just think it looks so cool. So the Forge Fiend is a demon engine of the Black Legion faction. It has these ginormous rotary cannons. Let's give it a click so you can see what the animation. It's so cool. Um, and it can vomit ectoplasm from its mouth. So that's what you see here, which is a disgusting image when you actually look at it. Look at it, so cool, so cool. Uh, this guy is meant to be an anti-summons unit. So it has two abilities. The first is, I guess this is the primary. Actually, is it the primary? I'm trying to think, this is the primary. The uh, This one is always active. It takes a turn to become usable. I guess that's the term you'd use. It is it's Hades auto cannon, so it deals six times X flame damage to a targeted enemy summon, and all other enemy summons within two hexes of a target, and it can deal a Y crit damage. Initial cooldown none, cost one munition. It says none, but it does take a turn. Um, crit chance zero percent, and then it has things like a level eight. It's common. Uh, does between 99 and 132 damage and then uncommon up to I think level 17 it does 205 to 274 a rare which takes you up to level 26 it becomes 486 to 6, uh, 647 if I can get my numbers out uh, epic 35 it's doing 995 to 1325 and legendary 3,589 to 4,786 so it can do a lot of damage as you can see mine is just at level one so it's pretty damn weak uh, so we're looking at 36 to 48 damage on that one its secondary ability is the demonic ordinance so this you can pump out every turn uh, sets target hex and two hexes behind it on fire the hex is already on fire it does three times x plasma damage and can deal a y crit damage so i've got mine up to level six this is the one that i'm using a lot more often which is why i'm uh, focusing on upgrading at the most sets target on fire which is a great stat also slows down their movement which i find helpful and then it currently is doing three times between 37 and 49 damage which isn't amazing but it's it's something for now so that is its power ups as you can see it takes a lot of stuff not only do you have to have common chaos badges for now that's going to change as we go along you have to have these chaos components you have to have scrap these weird bionic parts wires and then some muscles same on both sides it's going to be expensive to keep upgrading I don't have a lot of resources at the moment, but it's fun to have. It definitely is fun. I'm not using the auto cannons as much as I thought, but it's flame weapon. I am absolutely getting a lot of work out of. And with that in mind, I'm going to try and get us into a game. So let me just pause and find a game. Right, what we're going to do today is actually let's go back so you can see what I'm up to. Incursion. So this is how you unlock the war machines and upgrade them. So we're actually going to run through tier 3. This is fun. It costs one token to play. And you only get your starting characters. The characters you start with, you've got to take them through the entire campaign. So you got to make sure you do a good, good run at this. So mission 1, we have 10 traitorous guardsmen. Now, in this campaign, you can only use Imperial Troops. I have some pretty strong guys, I'm not going to lie. So, it's proving not too difficult. I am going to clear my roster. So, it's saying that these are my 
top five picks. They're definitely not my favorite picks. We're going to go for it though. So Plasma's got some good range. She's good in close combat. Yarrick's good. This guy can run and kill. So let's see how we do. Send Yarrick in to punch someone. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a good old punch. And then everyone else can move up. And blast him. And we will hold, I think. Let's use his power up just in case something terrible happens. Okay. They're not doing any real damage to me, which is very lucky. Use Yarrick here. Boom, boom. Might as well use their power up. And then let's see if we can just blast them off. Done. Mission one complete. So yeah, there's 15 missions and as you can see we unlocked a pat him and some munitions and some badges. You just keep going through them all. So we'll play through the whole campaign. I'm probably not going to explain every step of the process to you. But you can uh, just enjoy and watch. Make, grab, pause, grab a cup of tea. And uh, let's see how we get on. We're going to stick with the same five characters. I like the fact that you can mix and match, but there's really no need to. Or at least I've not found a need to yet. I shouldn't, shouldn't claim there's no need to. I'm sure I'm lucky because my characters are pretty powered up. And I love that Dark Angel ability. You can just shoot back. It's a great little power up. I'm gonna go around here and he can shoot him. Now we just have to wait. Hopefully the space wolf can get up there. Boom. Right, as we're going through this, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I have noticed that the Tacticus videos do pretty well for me. It's nice to see. I wasn't sure when I was posting them originally if anyone was actually interested. But it looks like the game has actually picked up quite the fan base and uh, has gained some popularity in the recent days. What I'm going to do is swap him out. I don't see much point. So we'll put in a different model. This time I'm going to let them run at me. Because the annoying Terminators were here. But then I can do this blasted a massive hole in their forces and if we're lucky he can reach and we're done oh, I didn't even see the forge fiend was up in the top corner oh I feel bad now should have moved the screen down so you could see it didn't even get to shoot chaos component common badges let's keep going like I said 15, 15 battles you have to get through does feel a bit slow now and again because you are just constantly doing this but the fun thing is when you get to shoot off all this ordnance and then it's pretty good for uh, stacking up your kills if you're trying to do some missions where you need to kill off stuff this is a good way to score some of them quite quickly. As you can see, physical damage is going up. My not having to summons is going up. Even though I'm playing with Yarrick and could in theory be summoning. So far haven't. But yeah, this is such a fun little game. If you are playing, make sure to drop me a comment. Let me know your favorite faction. Did you pick Forge Fiend? Did you pick one of the other ordinances that come I think at time of launch there was three options. There was the Tyranid Biovore, the Imperial Guard um, artillery piece, got what it's called now, and then the Forge Fiend that I'm using. It's a fun little mechanic. They don't seem to be overpowered uh, from my understanding the other two summon troops. So the artillery has a longer cooldown period but blasts scenario but every time it does something it drops a guardsman in as well 
so you get extra uh, cannon fodder whereas the biovore drops in spore mines every now and again which can be quite annoying if they explode on you but yeah i'm really enjoying the mechanic and snowprint games have done a very good job with it i do wish they'd bring out some more campaigns though sorry i'm losing my voice let me just pause for a moment have been fighting off another head cold. I don't know how I keep catching these colds. It's super annoying. <laughs> but uh, hopefully my voice doesn't sound too crappy on this. Let me know if you want to see more missions of this type. I probably I'm not going to do the entire campaign tree because there's multiple levels all the way up to the legendary. I'm obviously not even going to be able to breach that this time around. But let me know if you want to see more. Because next time I'll probably pick Biovore, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure actually how many times they're going to do these campaigns. I assume they're going to be regular. But how regular, I do not know. Ooh, put him in amongst the pigeons. That's a classic British term, isn't it? Won't hear many, uh, many North Americans saying that term out loud. But we are cracking through this. I do enjoy the fact that these are quick. But yeah, one token gets you 15 battles as long as you uh, keep winning. I haven't actually lost one yet. I'm going to say yet. So I don't actually know what happens if you lose a game. I'm not going to throw a game just for this video to find out what happens. I enjoy making videos for you guys, but I am not going to lose on purpose. But as you can see, we're doing pretty damn well. So yeah, how many of you are playing? Are you in guilds? Should I invest in creating a guild? I'm currently in one. It's fine. It used to be a lot more active than what it is now, sadly. We've lost a few key players. And I think it's sapped the will from a few of the older members. Which is a real shame. Because we were doing well for a part. Uh, in Guild Wars, we were hitting top 100 almost consistently and then these top players left for better guilds and I understand why I really appreciate why they would do that but it just sucks because it sapped the life force out a lot of the key members that are still in aren't as chatty as they once were and a few of the members that I personally found a little bit annoying are now too chatty Hopefully we can kill that. Oh, poor Psyker. Got a bit beaten up there. Um, but yeah, so let me know. If there's enough players here that we can make our own guild, I would happily do that. But if there really isn't, then, <laughs> then tough luck. We're not doing it. I'll stay put for now. But if you guys are in an active guild and ever are looking for an extra member, let me know. Love to come check it out. See what it's like. Let's uh, put a wall up. I forgot to swap out the Psyker. She doesn't get killed off. Oof. Right, we should be pretty much good to go. Might be quiet for a little while, my voice is starting to hurt. So just enjoy the music of the game. Oh, that's a lot of demons. Right, swap her out.
How come I completely missed the one I was shooting at? Comfortably won this. I'm going to use the Space Wolf. Yeah, I almost went for the Imperial Guard one because my Xenos troops are a lot more powerful than my Imperial than my Imperial forces. So it was tempting to do that campaign, but I thought this was the more interesting looking one. Yeah, sorry, I'm really gonna have to stop talking now. I can barely talk. This is a good time once again to say like, comment, subscribe, give me support. I need to have uh, some time off work to recover from all these colds. Just not getting the time. And I feel like if I can say, hey, I've got 2,000 subscribers that are relying on me to talk, you guys have to give me time off. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll understand and give me the time off that I need. Or at least maybe sponsor the videos. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. Two missions left to go. Some pretty strong termies. Some pink horrors. See if we can get rid of the pink colors, or the one. Ah. Highly recommend getting Tad Tadius Mo Noble and beefing him up. He is so strong in this game. His long range artillery that he can pull out really helps. All right, hopefully this is the last mission. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my lineup. So we got three blood letters. Oh, they got Forge Fiend as well at the top here. It's uh, we're gonna absorb this Terminator attack first. Missile strike, if I can click. Wiped out the termies nice and quick, look at that. Now the question is, can I one-shot this? Can. <laughs> Took one turn. Love it, love it, love it. Well, there you go. That is it, we have completed this round. This should also level up the Forge Fiend, so we'll go through that graphic. And run. Did that level? Oh, that didn't level me up. I thought it had. Let's have a look at the character. Oh, it did level me up. It just didn't do it. Right, so I can promote my Forge Fiend. He is now finally a one-star Forge Fiend. Wow. He's week. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next week for some more Tacticus fun. Bye-bye for now.